Hello everyone, and welcome back to Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guided. Uh, last time we started the game, and we entered the B-Ball Catacombs. Ooh, spooky ghost. Hello, spooky ghost. It's time to slam. Jam. Alright, let's see. Conjure Zalber powers to stifle foes. Run. Use an item. Can attack for all normal damage taken. Or just blitz enemies. Action key. Zalber slash. Cancel key. Stab dash. Start key. Zeta scan. God. Mash the action key during travel to increase damage dealt on impact. Works well against dumb people. Stab dash. Press cancel key to stab dash. Press again when the symbols turn red. Slows all targets. Okay. I'm not sure that I... Assault a foe with a b-ball shot! Up key for the jumper. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So you, you just have to mash it while it's traveling. No, I... This is... I'm not sure how to use Barkley's thing. Because the help info keeps coming up, and that's like messing with my shot, I feel like. Like. Okay. Well, I murdered him. Not entirely sure what I'm doing yet, but I murdered him. Some good music. Alright. It's clearly a spooky Omega door. Uh, something tells me I won't be able to open it, but let's try. Oh, hello. Spooky ghosts. This looks like a room out of Zelda Link to the Passage. Is that Will Smith? Uh, what's a Zauber? Creates a wall of fire to lower enemy attack. Shed our fiend into a thousand pieces using ice powers. We'll, we'll save those for another time. Do the, you know, I bet zombies have low brain. Oh, apparently not that low. Oh, you actually have to press the button in order to throw the ball. That's hilarious. Ugh. How dare you hurt? What? What do we call him again? Yo, this free fall s or free throw sucks ass. There you go. What the hell is that win pose? This is a weird game. The sarcophagus. It's open. Yes, yeah, Barkley. Ancient v ball magics haunt these halls, causing the dead to rise. Is that a joke? Are you trying to bamboozle me? The joke's on you if you choose not to believe me. But forget it, Barkley. You're an old man stuck in your ways. You'll soon see the truth. We'll see about that. Ultimate Hellbane. That was his name, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Was this a sarcophagus? Yes, Barkley. It's the final resting place of a baller long lost in the annals of history. In my spare time, I like to study the inscriptions around the sarcophagi and glean as much knowledge as I can about the balls that reside within them. I'm a bit of a b-ball historian, you see. So what have you learned from them? Oh, this and that. Mostly they're about shoes or incredible plays. Nothing particularly amazing. There has been one I've been struggling to recently through. Struggling with recently, though. It goes into quite specific detail about a disaster that took place in 2053. It has to be a mistranslation or a bad calculation. There's almost no way this could happen. Like the chaos dunk in Manhattan? No, no. Don't get me wrong, this is a tragedy, but... What I've been reading? It can only spell the disaster of mankind. I... 
I see. No. I don't think you do. Spooky. Can't go this way. So I guess we did have to go to the other way. But we got some sick lore out of it. Maybe I should heal ultimate hellbane, huh? Uh. It's a FIFA. Yeah. Uh, ecto cooler, I guess. Ecto cooler. What is that? I. That feels like a joke I should understand, but I. Not remembering it. Spooky ghosts, more spookies. All right, it's time to slam a jam. Let's do this. Those are ball brains. Okay. Correct. Bamboozles, bamboozles the enemy with shots from all angles. Let's do it. All right. I love that they explode. That's fantastic. Oh, I do it multiple times. Gotcha. Not. Right, I'm gonna try that again. Double damage. I'm not entirely sure what button I'm pressing to trigger that. Because you press up and left or right to do something. Let's see. Forward jump. Hold and release at the height of the jump for maximum damage. Oh, okay. So you... Oh, gotcha. So you have to let go of the buttons to do the thing. Okay, so if I fade away, I'm going to get a guard bonus. If I forward jump, I'm going to get a guard reduction. And then I'm all like... Check these albers out. Oh, that's good music. What's up with the sarcophagus? Nope. There you go. This tomb belongs to the b-ball star Magic Johnson. Okay. I was never fortunate enough to see it, Barkley, but the texts state that the two of you had a number of terrific showdos. I believe the phrase would have been used in your time to let you rock the house. I can see you're no greenhorn when it comes to pre-21st century b-ball vernacular and colloquialisms. I shall... Take that as a compliment. Some of those are out of my. I don't know what a shodo is. Showdow? Oh, showdown? Did they really just take the N out of it? I feel dumb. Uh. Right. Okay. Three throw! Ah! Uh. Get. Basketball shuriken or something. Oh, I'll just give him th the three throw. I can't say that word right. Free throw. Whoa. Oh. I know I said before. Whoa. Alright, Slam Spectre, if that's your real name. It doesn't do that much damage. Okay. Let's try the th free throw. God damn it. What do you mean that missed? I suck at this. I can't do timing. You gave him diabetes, man. That ain't cool. Gotta suck. Wow, I finally got in a miss. Alright, we gotta cure these diabetes. Well, I don't want to use tobacco. I guess I'll just deal with the diabetes for now. Oh, man. That's rough. The ball in the center. That is... Yes, yeah, Sparkly. THE ball. Rather, it's not the actual ball you were trapped in during the Space Jam, but it is a scale representation of it. I studied both this statue and this tomb extensively in my research, and I found it to be quite fascinating. This is the crypt of Muggsy Bogues and Patrick Ewing. They were both in the ball with me. They were close friends of mine before the purge. Sometimes I... I miss them. The ball. Contained massive powers. 
course, you knew this. You were inside of it. You were its source of power. There's something I've always wanted to ask you, Barkley. What was it like to be trapped inside a b-ball? I don't remember much. It was dark, and I remember feeling so weak. So weak. But then again, they were harvesting my b-ball energy. There's no doubt in my mind that once, mind that once the monsters were on the Space Jam, they would have used the ball for ill purposes. Possibly even... Enough. Let's move on. Wait. What's this? Got one b-ball shard. Don't know what that does. What does this one say? It says, here lies Patrick Ewing. Born a slave, died a starting center. Truer words have never been spoken. Just before the great b-ball purge, he said that I was like a brother to him. Like the little brother he never had. He was my best friend. Patrick, I... I just wanted to say goodbye one last time. What? What is this? Got a b-ball tear. Sorry, Patrick. It was the final resting pace of Muggsy Bogues, one of the finest point guards in basketball history. He was more than just a good point guard. He was a good friend. I was responsible for his death. He was one of the first killed in the Great B-Ball Purge. Never got to say goodbye. What's this? Did a tear just come from the sarcophagus? Thank you, Muggsy. Thank you. What does that do? What does a b-ball tier do? Single BP plus 100%. All ball power. Gotcha. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna use the tobacco. Ultimate Hellbane doesn't have a lot of HP. As I've noticed. Spooky Ghost. Let's do this. It's using Earthbound Encounter System. That's interesting. I like how I bring that up, like, five encounters into the game, not the first one. So, um, let's see, pass, very high damage, huh? Okay. Wrecked. Dead. It's weird because I gotta mash like the Z and X buttons, and uh, well, just the Z button for that skill. But it's weird. I'm not used to mashing those specific buttons. Okay. Nah. Can't mash that good enough. Is there like a active guard system? I don't know yet. Okay, it said the pass had the highest accuracy, right? Oh god, that's gonna be hard. Nope. Ouch. I can't not. Ooh, yeah! Showboat jam! Yeah! Water, water Zauber. God, I can't not headbang to that music. It's just, it's too good. What's this thing? This is another statue of the ultimate b ball. Yeah, Sparkly. The ring around it symbolizes the ring of friendship formed when Michael Jordan helped the Looney Tunes defeat the Bond Stars in the Space Jam. The power of the ultimate b ball is revered by ballers, but also feared. They recognized the unlimited potential of a ball containing the abilities of all the best ballers ever, but also knew that if the ball got into the wrong hands, damage could be irre irreparable. Don't give me a history lesson. I was at the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immeasurable power that ball contained. Don't patronize me. You were correct. You don't need a history lesson. Let's move on. Kind of a dickhole, Charles Barkley. That said, he's kind of a dickhole in real life. This is the tomb of Larry Johnson. Larry, I never mean it. seen a man slam like he did. You get this look in his eye. 
this wild look that told you that something was up. And out of nowhere, he'd slip, snatch that ball and slam it like a true mama jama. There was so much I could have learned from him. There's a lot we all could have learned from him, Barkley, but there's no looking back. We can regret our mistakes for all our lives, or we can keep moving forward like you would have wanted. Yeah, you're right. We always have to keep moving forward, no matter how bad it hurts. Wait, what's this? Thank you, Larry. And goodbye. Okay, so these guys got killed in the purge. How the hell did they end up in these sarcophaguses? Sarcophagi. Because I don't think the b-ball police or whatever the hell they're called would be making a uh, what you a tomb for these guys. This sarcophagus. It's exactly seven feet six inches tall. This, this has to belong to yes, Sean Bradley. I was going through a difficult period in my life and wasn't so sure I could trust white people. Sean, Sean helped me out. And we realized it's not on the outside that matters, but of the inside. He was a good center, Barkley, but he was a better man. Goodbye, Sean. Thank you for everything. Wait, what's this? Tears, man. Tears. Watch your step, Barkley. Footing isn't so stable. Uh, okay. Uh, that seemed fine to me. Alright, let's slam a jam. What we got? Shower status effect on enemies with water. Let's try a nice sour on that slam specter. Get sorted! Oh, I didn't even kill him. Alright, what's three? Free throw! God damn it, one day. God damn it! Why do I suck at this? Okay. Yeah, I'll get that. Try the free throw again. Got him. There you go. And you're dead now. Now it's just one more dude. What was that? Montezuma's Revenge? Okay. Feel the power and the energy from below. Get slammed, get jammed. Alright, what the hell did I have? Said like Montezuma's Revenge or something. More dudes! Alright, Zomballer. Let's go for the slam. No, let's go for the Zomballer first. Some good damage, Barkley. You know what you're doing. Ah! That seems like the best that Ultimate Hellbane can do right now. Well, Barkley's sitting here doing like a hundred. At least Hellbane's good at tanking. Get wrecked. That's a little less than the other ones did. Dead? Dead. He didn't explode, that's bullshit. I only want the most exploding of enemies. I'm sure I'm gonna go down there eventually with See what's up with this card. Sargophagus is open. Watch where you step, Barkley. Slam phantoms or zomballers could be anywhere, even beneath us. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, do I need to heal? I need to heal. Help me. <coughs> Ball deals. What's this pool? This pool commemorates the lives of all the ballers who were never seen again after the great B Ball purge. Men like Shaquille O'Neal, Ron Artest. Even the great Hakim Olajuwon. Although they were never found, all their fates were almost certain. All of this. This is my fault. 
This is my fault because of the chaos dunk. If I were never born, these great men would have never had to... Barkley, get a hold of yourself. You can't keep blaming yourself for something that was entirely out of your control. The guilt I've been living with. The chaos dunk. Hellbane, my greatness, that the one thing I love most is what not only ruined it, but ended the lives of so many ballers. It's like... Fate chose me to end the greatest era of man, to herald the cyber apocalypse. When basketball died, so did the camaraderie of birth. When basketball died, so too did the goodwill and hope that it fostered. The great b-ball purge wasn't the death of basketball. It was the death of mankind. They did say basketball. Holy shit. Something you said struck me, Barkley. What? You said that fate chose you. Yes. Maybe you're right, Barkley. Maybe fate did choose you to destroy B-Ball. Maybe fate chose you to end the greatest game that mankind has ever been given. But I don't think so. I think that fate chose you for something far greater. I think fate chose you to redeem B-Ball. To give it a clean slate and fresh start. Right before the purge, Barkley, B-Ball lost sight of the two most important parts of the game. Slams and jams. It stopped being about the slams and instead the Neo Shekels. Stop being about the jams and about the endorsements. I don't think of you as a devil, Charles Barkley. I think of you as an angel. Who... Who are you? I can't tell you now, but... You'll get to soon understand. Come on, we've got to get moving. Yeah. Right. Yeehaw. yippee ki motherfucker. What's this? What's this? Statue of the Ultimate Ball? Yes, Barkley. This statue particularly interests me because of an incredible power it has. But power? What power is that? Touch it, Barkley. Uh, amazing! I feel my b-ball energy returning to me as we speak. This is incredible! Yes, Barkley. This statue restores the b-ball energies to those who touch it. It's quite an amazing artifact. One that I have studied quite extensively and still cannot find an answer to. Although perplexing, though, it seems to have no ill effects. We can use it as we please. The ancient ballers. They were... amazing. Just come on, get up. It's time to slam now. Barley, wait. What? Don't you feel that? All that b-ball energy concentrated into one place. I don't feel anything. It's the spirit of a ref trapped in this dimension that's trying to get to the b-ball dimension. It's incredibly powerful. I don't... feel anything, Hellman. Well, you're about to. Here it comes. Boss time! I don't even have to heal, man. Whoa, did... Did Hellbane take his hood off? Did he always look like that? That doesn't... No. He had a different stance. I swear to god he had a different stance. Gain a bonus to a stat and deal jam damage to the foe. Let's do it. Oh my god, that's glorious. You trying to technical foul me? No, I ain't think so. Get jammed. That, that was a tough fight. May you find rest in the b-ball dimension, lost spirit. Rest. Rest in peace, wandering ref. This game is so deadly serious and I, oh man, I love it. Protein pastes. Need some roids. Inside the sarcophagus is the mummy of Kobe Bryant. One of the greatest players the Lakers ever had. He was an amazing baller, Hellbane. He thought a lot of himself, but he had good reason to. He was one of the best. That's right, but... Brains. Look out, he's coming out of his sarcophagus. Oh man, we gotta fight Kobe Bryant? Aw, oh, shit. Yo, he's jacked. What is with his arms? Like, his forearms are just deadly thin, but he's got watermelons in his... Holy Christ. Alright. 
feel the power of ice. Kobe Bryant, you need to cool down. You too hot? Ugh! Get jammed. What? Okay. I guess that's the thing that happened. Goodbye, Kobe Bryant. It, whatever that thing you turned into was. C Kobe. Oi. I just killed Kobe Bryant. He was already dead, Barkley. I know that, but... But that look in his eye. Even in death, he had that baller look. That... I'm gonna dunk that ball so hard look. That was Kobe. I'm... I'm sorry, Barkley. No man should ever have to do that. I'm sorry, Kobe. I'm sorry. Alright, well... Uh, we got a vending machine. Is this what I think it is? Yes, a relic from old times, to be sure. From what I have studied, I would assume the massive amounts of b-ball and neutrinos created from the first chaos dunk like dormant in the machine is a sort of power source. What? It still works. Alright, let's check it out. I can hack it? Well, let's buy items first. Let's see. Protein paste. Let's buy a couple of these. Yeah, it's fine. I have some steroids. Uh, let's buy a couple insulin, a couple Asperger's. Can't deal with that glaucoma. Alright, what's hacking do? Insufficient science points. Fail to hack the vending machine. Alright, whatever that means. Alright, well we found a save point, so we're gonna end it here. Oh wait, there's a thingy. One vapes. Is that like vaping, but b-ball? Speed plus three. Oh, it's an item. Power is gonna go down. Screw that. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Alright, anyway. What does our resident forum poster have to say? It should be no surprise to anyone with a passing familiarity with VidCons that Pocky is the ideal food to snack on when playing a mentioned object. Although playing is an inappropriate word because you experience rather than play a VidCon. I shall use playing for the sake of simplicity. For those ignorant to the intricacies of this fine Japanese cuisine, imagine a delicate stick of sweetened bread, but the width and length of a chopstick. Its tip coated in the richest chocolate imaginable. The bold flavor of the chocolate is complemented by the sweet, small nuts that caress the tip, creating a culinary juxtaposition of sweetness and saltiness that could only have been hatched in the mind of a chef versed in the subtle paradoxes of eastern cooking. They are light and easy to eat and hold, useful for vidconning on the go, and their sugar content add that extra boost for late night, late night vidcons. Therefore, Pocky has garnered itself the precious title of Ultimate Vidcon Snack. Perhaps the only drawback of Pocky is its limited availability in the West. So this cannot be attributed to the snack itself, but the infuriating baboons that think they are running grocery stores. Oh, it's so accurate. Oh, it hurts. I've been... Mm, I've been a forum goer since I was... Pff, 11? Trust me when I say that's... Oh, that hits close to home. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we're gonna go sl slam back some beers, because I need to forget this ever happened. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.